Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, the Bacon Air Freshener. Now, I wanted to take a moment to reflect on past financial decisions and also see how those financial decisions have panned out over the years or a few months, if you want to look at it like that. I want to take a look at three different items I have within CSGO and just see how they turned out to be as an investment. If you enjoy videos like this, uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'll make sure to make more of them in the future. I don't even know how good this video is going to do, to be honest, or if anyone even wants to watch this. I just want to add, I was an idiot and recorded this whole video before the Steam Winter Sale. So uh, all the prices have gone down on the item since then, but it's not too drastic, so... So the first item we're going to be taking a look at are Sports Gloves Arid. Now the story behind these gloves is it started out with a skeleton vanilla knife that I then traded for a pair of slingshots, field tested. Now this was a week before they decided to drop the recoil case. If you don't know anything about the recoil case, it introduced broken fan gloves once again for the third time. So like a week after the recoil case, I decided to trade the field tested slingshots to get a pair of minimal wear arids. 0.12 by the way, kind of nice. They're around the same exact price at the time. So at this time, the skeleton I vanilla is around $722. This is for cash value, by the way. The field tested slingshots are listed on the market for around $726. It looks like they sell around like $710. I'm not 100% sure. There's not a lot of sales for the ones I had for my float. Then we have the minimal wear sport gloves arids that are sitting around $860. They were around a thousand dollars at one point here. Yeah, since the winter sale happened, I mean the price is gonna drop off. That's just normal. Still a very nice price increase, not gonna lie. Now for the next item, we got a Karambit black laminate. Well worn. Now I remember this purchase exactly. It was $350 in crypto. Back when crypto was actually really high. I don't know. I just really liked the black laminate karambit. I like the handle. It just looked really nice to me, so I bought it. This was like two years ago at this point. Now, since buying this knife, it is now around $648. That's a... <laughs> fuck me. Who the fuck is inviting me? Who even is this? <clears throat> Why are you messaging me back, motherfucker? Uh, we're gonna leave it there. You know, $648 is a pretty good return from $350, so we take that. Now the last, but certainly not least, my Nomad Case Harden. I fucking love this knife. I got this knife before, like, the big Nomad knife hype started happening. Like, they were really cheap before, and then they just went kind of crazy. So the story behind it was, is I really wanted a Nomad knife, and I had the field-tested Silk Tiger at the time that I made a video on. So I decided to sell the Silk Tiger Field Tested and buy this Nomad Knife around $150. And yeah, we're gonna take a look at the uh, Field Tested Silk Tiger. It's around $91. Now the Nomad Case Harden, $347. That is more than a 2X on this knife. Not only that, it's also a good float, 0 0.08, which is good. So yeah, I think it was a good trade to uh, pick up a Nomad Knife Case Harden instead of holding on to a Field Tested Silk Tiger. One of the better trades I've ever made. So what's the whole point of this video? I have no fucking idea. This is not investment advice. Uh, if there's any advice you should take from this video is you should buy the items you like and things you think look nice and just hold on to them for a while, see how they do. I've never gotten bored of any of the items I have in this game. I fucking love them. I love collecting them. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say in this. Hope you enjoyed or got something out of this. I doubt you got anything out of it, but yeah, that's it. Peace.